Hey everybody, I'm back with a new video for you this week. Okay, so uh, today I am doing a drawing video of sorts. Um, today I'm just doing a really quick video of uh, me putting together one of these pages uh, for my comic Hologram and His Squad. Um, it's, a, it's one of the first pages um, in, the, in the first book here. And, um, yeah, I'll just be kind of going through, uh, kind of how I quickly put one together. So, uh, I'm not going to waste any more time, we'll get right into it. The first step I take in, uh, creating a comic is, uh, I just take some sketch paper and I sketch out what each page, uh, uh how it will look, um, how each panel will fit and what e each panel holds. I have to think about where dialogue is going to fit and all that. Um, and I just get a, an idea of how I want each page to look before I go anywhere else with that. Once I uh, have sketched out all my panels, um, and uh, I've sketched out uh, where everything's going to fit, and I've got this paper, and I'm just going to draw, uh, lightly draw the lines uh, to each panel using the uh, the guidelines along the edge and uh, just uh, shape that just the way I want and then I, uh, I jump right into sketching out what I already have sketched on the other page. Um, just sketching it out on the sketch paper first helps save a lot of uh, erasing and uh, mix-ups and uh, you have a, a better idea of what you want and you do less erasing then you can start sketching out what you already have an idea of. Um, I get a very, you want to do it very lightly, sketch out um, each panel on the paper, and uh, just go further and further into detail as you go. So once I have uh, the rough sketch down on the paper, then I go into more detail and I start lightly, very lightly, um, drawing each specific line in detail um, that will go on the page. Uh, and that, that takes a bit more time because it, it just, uh, and you, again, I cannot emphasize enough that you want to do it very lightly uh, because if you're pressing too hard with your pencil, it will uh, become much harder to uh, erase those lines and make them disappear completely. So once I have it all uh, sketched um, and drawn out the way I want it, I then uh, uh, take my pens and go to inking. Uh, I just basically trace all the lines with uh, my Micron pens. Uh, the Micron pens have a lot of different sizes. Uh, they are fantastic for uh, uh, this type of drawing. Um, I like to use a lot of the smaller scales like an 01 or an 02 um, or an 03 um, and then I use an 08 for the thicker lines um, and yeah so I just trace over the the main lines I don't trace every single line because uh, obviously they're sketch lines and you don't want all those ugly sketch lines in there um, but yeah and it's uh, just a uh, kind of a tedious process, but it's a process that I really enjoy. I think inking is one of my favorite parts. Um, and once I have that all done, it, I just erase the pencil away. And um, yeah, that's a, that's about it for now. Uh, I'm not going to color this comic. This is I'm doing it in the style of a manga where it's all black and white um, and grays. Um, but I'm still trying to figure out how I'm going to do the grays. Uh, basically, uh, that's it for the, the drawing part for now. <laughs> As for what I've been doing uh, for the past half a week here. Uh, so this page that I'm uh, sketching out currently um, is just a... It's the seventh page from the book. I think it's the seventh. <laughs> um, and... It's basically uh, just uh, my main character, Garrett, who um, has, uh, he's in a, 
he's on a college swim competition or whatever, just a, um, basically a, a swimming competition, and he, uh, he's racing against a couple other guys, and, um, he doesn't win the race, but, uh, he's a good sport, and, uh, his parents are there, uh, congratulating him, and his best friend Rich is there, um, congratulating him, and, uh, yeah, that's just kind of, uh, what this panel is. But, uh, yeah, so, as for the next steps, uh, I'm still trying to figure that out, um, as for, I'm trying to figure out how to, how to finish these pages digitally, it's not going too well, uh, I'm, like, brand new to the world of digital art and uh, it's it's a whole different world compared to drawing. I much prefer traditional art but digital is something I want to learn because it's such a handy tool that everybody uses for making comics so I'm really trying hard to figure out what I want to do with that and how I'm going to do it. Um, but I've, I've been trying to scan these pages and put them into uh, Clip Studio Paint EX um, and figure that all out, but it's a very complicated program and I haven't gotten very far with it, but uh, uh, if you know how to handle that stuff or uh, you know someone who does, uh, talk to me and give me some tips and uh, if you have time or want to, you can teach me how to use it. Uh, I'm open to it, so, um, but yeah, that's, that's about it for today. Um, I hope you enjoyed this very quick video, um, and uh, I think I'll have a, a review coming up later this week. Uh, I recently uh, read a few collected series uh, from both DC and Marvel. Uh, I've, I've had a lot of free time this week. Uh, my work closed for half a week because of some COVID outbreaks, um, but I'm doing healthy, I'm doing fine, uh, and hopefully I'll be back to work this Monday. So. Um, yeah, uh, but in the meantime, uh, I should have some reviews coming soon, and, uh, make sure you, uh, leave a like on this video, uh, leave a comment, I love getting comments and likes, um, and, uh, make sure you subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications so you don't miss any new videos, and, uh, yeah, uh, all your support is appreciated. Uh, check me out on Instagram and Facebook. I would recommend Instagram. I'm barely ever on Facebook, and uh, I really just post my Instagram stuff to Facebook. Um, and there's usually even more content on Instagram. So uh, Facebook and Instagram, I would recommend Instagram. The links are down underneath this video. Uh, thanks again, and uh, until next time, adios.